Delirium has hit for the cast of Cloak and Dagger. Yes. Good to see you guys. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks Good for having you. us. Everybody in a good mood still? Comic Con oh, treating yeah. you well? Of I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Good, good to meet all the fans. You're yeah. doing this in the right way because not only are you here for your first Comic Con for most of you, but for the show, definitely. Uh, but you've also been renewed, which is a Yay. nice yeah. bonus. Yes. Yeah. On stage. Was that? Uh, did you guys know before you hit San Diego? Be honest. You knew it was happening. No, honestly. I mean, we. We were confident and we had good feelings and good vibes, obviously, because the show has been, you know, so positively just, I mean, the reviews have been amazing yeah. and people seem to really be responding to it. So we were obviously all very confident, but it wasn't until on stage that we got that official confirmed season two, which is really exciting. Amazing. Yeah. What was the turning point for you guys in terms of like when the show started to debut, um, when you kind of breathe a sigh of relief? Or was it even before that when you were shooting it, did you feel like it was clicking? Or I mean, it it's so hard to know because you don't, when you shoot something, also you don't know how it's going to come out. Like sometimes right. you'll shoot something and you'll be like, oh my God, that's great. And yeah. then you see it and you're like, what happened? <laughs> so I think, you know, this was so great. When I saw the pilot, I was crying a lot and I was so moved by it. And I think at that point I felt like, wow, this is really something special. I mean, I felt it before, but when you see it, yeah. you're like, great, nothing was lost in between like on set right. to then it making the screen. I felt for me when I was at, when we were shooting, especially like the swamp stuff, I knew that the material was going to be important and impactful so I think when we were shooting we knew something special was gonna happen so let's talk a little bit about I mean this this show a lot of it rests on on this key relationship it has to work on the show and how it develops in the right way um, talk to me about sort of like did you guys get a lot of time before shooting to get to know each other how did it develop in like real life versus <laughs> Well, for Aubrey and I, it was a very, very fast turnaround. Yeah. We did our chemistry read on a Friday, and then we left for New Orleans on a Monday morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> the following Monday morning. Yeah. And so it was instant a very- Instant chemistry. We don't need to do a thing. <laughs> it exactly. really was instant chemistry, though. I mean, our chemistry was, I, I describe it as like pure magic because I feel like it's very rare that you actually go into a chemistry read and read with all these people and then find the one person that you genuinely have organic chemistry with and Aubrey and I had that and we still feel that you know and it feels like it's just enhancing and evolving each episode that that we shoot but um, I mean we all get along so well and it's crazy because our show is so emotionally driven I mean right. like Emma said the first episode she was in tears and you just <laughs> continue to cry each episode right. so I mean the fact that you know we we got to know each other so well in such a place where I mean all of us were very foreign to New Orleans we never really spent much time there and then we spent most like half of our year there last year so um, we all got along very fast and um, obviously there was a massive mutual respect between the actors during those emotional scenes and yeah. the crew as well. Have you been enjoying sort of seeing this relationship develop on screen in terms of like where the, the partnership has kind of started to be forged? Yeah, I always say like I know people ship Tyrone and Tandy obviously because of the comics but to me it, it just brought a really cool aspect to our show just the fact that you see who Tyrone is as an individual and you see who Tandy is and then it, you kind of want to wait until they actually finally meet, you know? I feel like the anticipation was like the coolest part. Right. So, um, yeah, I just look forward to making more and more stuff with Tyrone and Tandy. What's, yeah. So what is the vibe between you two offset versus on camera? Like, is it a similar kind of like? No, we absolutely hate each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I noticed there's this is in between you. This is, yeah, I, I this asked telling. for this. Yeah. I said, do not let me see this. He literally walked in the room holding this giant thing. All about it. You know, and thing. not even today. I'm not kidding. Every like single every event that Aubrey and I go to, we somehow like it's coordinate crazy. or yeah. like we don't, we never it's clash. It's weird, like it's creepy. Like, it's, it's cool, yeah. even with like, they're like diagonally going down. You complement each amazing. other perfectly. Yeah, we do, it's great. <laughs> um, no, but we have a good time, you know. I, I love, I love that we're sort of like watching Tandy and Tyrone build this friendship first before building, you know, anything more, rom like it's a platonic relationship more than right, it is a romantic yeah. one. And right. I think for the audience, it's like really cool to see that because right now, the lives that they're living are so intense and the things that they are going through are like just, I mean, beyond me, I just, I don't, I don't know how they're even coping with it, but they're, they're fine, they finally feel like they have somebody that they can trust and be vulnerable yeah. with and sort of like let down those walls. And, um, and you know, Aubrey and I are, are, are very similar and we have a lot in common. And, um, and I think we're both very similar to Tandy and Tyrone in that way of like wanting to like let people in, but having a hard time doing that, right. you know? So, um, you know, we definitely bond a lot over that. And when it comes down to those scenes where they actually sit there and sort of like be vulnerable and open up. Aubrey and I really feel that. Mm -hmm. I know in episode four, there's a scene between Tandy and Tyrone, or basically the whole episode is about privilege. 
what it's like to be a black man in America in 2018 and what it's like to be a white female in America in 2018. we both felt very passionate about what we were talking about. And I remember towards the end of that scene, we were both like so heated and emotional mm-hmm. because it's real. And right. we've never seen that in television. Well, I was going to say, I, I think that's why it's clicking with audiences. Like we're seeing obviously a ton of superhero based, comic book based material out there. But to have the underpinnings of like a real relationship and real mm-hmm. emotion behind it is that's what's going to keep people coming back for more yeah. every week. And yeah. that's what's working. And I just feel it's like so needed to have that companionship on TV right now. And, right. and for this new generation to see that, you know, you can connect with anyone. Like, it doesn't matter where you come from, how you look, you know, what you like. Like, we're all humans, yeah. you know? So I, I love how it speaks to that fact. So having get, gotten to know each other throughout this first season, if I give you the opportunity to switch roles with another cast member <laughs> for a day, a week, a season, who do you want to uh, shot at? Who do you want to try the... Hmm. The role of. Wow, that's hard. You got some of them? I might go with um, Cloak, because I just think you and the Cloak is so badass, and the teleportation is so rad. Crazy. <laughs> Anyone um, else? So I, I, yeah. Connors, just because he's Whoa. so evil. <laughs> kind of I, know, like, I was going to say Bridget, because I feel like she just always is like, yeah. okay, I'm going to mess I've some. never done that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay I'm going to mess with you. You might not do it. I'm really bad That's at your essence. Yeah, your essence. Yeah, your essence. Yeah. The way you go about things is, mm. mm-hmm. You didn't know that? You're always like arresting Very, people. It's like swagger. Particular. You got yeah. swag. Thanks for yeah, you the impression, got Olivia Holt. You're welcome. <laughs> I also just want to be Emma Lahana, so. <laughs> We're basically the same that. person. <laughs> basically. Basically the same person. Uh, what about for you? Uh, um, I'll, I'll probably have to say Billy because mm-hmm. he's just such a big part of the show and he do, he's not in every single episode, but he's often talked about and I feel like uh, he means so much to Tyrone, so it would just be cool to, to play that role. Nice. Having gotten the green light for season two and mm-hmm. season one's wrapping up in a couple of weeks uh, for those at home, um, what are you hoping to see in season two? Have you been given any hints from the writers, showrunners, etc.? Well, season two is going to be mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the watch word. That's, yeah, from, right. from, from what they're telling everybody, that's what it's going to be. So I think it's going to be even more intense and epic. And, you know, I think physically there's going to be a lot of um, action which I think will be really cool because you know this first season I feel like was a lot about character development and really understanding mm-hmm. the characters not just together but truly as individuals yeah. and I feel like that that's going to make you appreciate the seasons to come even hopefully seasons to come <laughs> even more you know you just like you want to appreciate the characters and be able to like connect and relate to them in some sort of way and, um, and I think this next season is it's just going to be that times a thousand plus like a lot more drama and <laughs> and Joe did let me in on something um, and it's going to be amazing it's something that we're going to shed light on that's something that's happening that isn't getting enough attention but it's something that's really happening to to women okay. um, so that'll be really a really important um, subject to start talking about uh, enjoy the rest of your comic con guys you, congratulations you, on the show second season coming actually soon here Thank we go you. congrats Let's do it. all right